Hi, I'm Hugo. Um, so before me, we got two kinds of conductors. This is a pluggable battery pole connector, and this is a um, lug connector. So we have received many questions from the customer through emails, through forms. They have been asking us why we're using this kind of um, pluggable battery uh, connector, which is like priced so much higher than the the lug connectors. So we're going to compare these two kinds of connectors today and let's go into uh, find out why we're using this kind of connector. So um, let's start with the appearance. Um, so for each connector pair, um, we got two colors for each pair. Um, for the lug connector, we got red and we got a black. Actually the red is for the positive electrode and the black is for the negative electrode. And also, similarly, the pluggable connector has two colors. The black is for the negative electrode, and the orange is for the neg for the positive electrode. So, um, so we can unplug it. Actually, the electrode is connect is composed of two parts, and this part is the socket, and this part is the plug. So, um, when we're using um, the connector, we basically just uh, the socket. First of all, we need to screw the socket to the box, to the battery pack, and then we just use the plug to connect it. And we might see we don't need any screws, we don't need to see any lugs, we just need to use our hand and just plug it in. And then we hear some kind of sound like click. So it's quite sturdy. We don't even need to do any other operations. It's quite convenient. And let's turn to the lug connector. Um, you can see some nuts, see some screws. So it means when we're connecting the connector, the lug connector to the battery pack, we need to use screwdrivers. So when you're using screwdriver, it means you're doing it with your hands. So when it comes to human hands, there can be inaccuracy. It means there, some, there can be some mistakes when you are connecting them. Like the torque index can be like too high or too, too low. So the connection may be not stable and the current may come across some problems uh, in the later days. So this is the first, I think the first sign about the, the connector. What is so good about the, uh, the pluggable connector? Because you don't use, you don't even need to use the screwdriver. You don't really need to connect them manually. And the second part comes to the, um, as you might find out, there are like two convex. There were two convex in the plug as you might see here, and for the orange, we got similar plug, we got similar convex. So now we put them together, we might find out they are actually quite different because um, you can see the convex for the orange one is on the left, and the black one is on the right. So actually, you, you cannot. There's no way you can like connect the orange plug to the black socket because as, as we have said the black orange the black plug and the orange plug they're quite different the structure is different so you connect connect them so there is no chance that you can come across uh, cross mating in this case um, so this is the structure about the connector and the next one I think is the material as you can see the material here um, this is actually silver plated this silver material so um, silver is quite good at um, current flowing there is like low impedance for this kind of material and so silver is actually quite expensive but for the lug connector they use um, Actually, this is bronze. So bronze has like higher impedance than silver. So it, this is also, um, I think, the reason why uh, the plug uh, connector is like more expensive than the lug connector. And as you might find out, 
when you plug uh, plug the the plug in to the socket, um, you can't see any metals exploded on uh, on each hand uh, on each ends, uh, except for this end. This end is actually the socket. But for the lock connector, you can see some metals. You can see some nuts. So when you connect it to the battery pack. Well, um, even with this PVC um, cover, you can still touch the metal in a way. So it's quite dangerous. You may get a shock um, when you may come across a shock when you are repairing the connector or, or the battery pack. Um, especially for people with children, I think this is not safe. But this, there's no way you can touch any metals. So there's no way you can come across a shock, it's quite safe. Um, this is uh, another reason why we are using this kind of um, connector. And there is a less observable uh, aspect about this, the connector. That is, uh, uh, actually is IP65 rated. So um, what it means is that uh, there is no way that you will be, um, it's actually dust free and there's no way you will get wet. So if, even if there is some uh, water, some, some spray, water spray, um, like rain or accidental like water spray to the uh, battery pack, um, with, with this kind of connector, there's no way you will um, get a short circuit or anything. But this, as you can see, the metals are quite exploded on most, most ends, especially for these ends. Um, you are using it to connect the wires, but there is a high chance that you might um, come across some, I don't know, some water spray or, or, or condensation, um, this kind of accident, so it's uh, quite not safe. And last but not least, for this kind of connector, um, you can actually the working temperature is like below minus 40 degrees centigrade to more than 100 degrees centigrade. So this uh, wide range is actually is a quite um, a wider range temperature working range than the lock connector. The lock connector's working temperature is like minus 40 degrees centigrade to like 70 degrees uh, degrees centigrade. So. The wider working temperature range uh, guarantee that you can use uh, this. Uh, you can use the, the battery pack in any circumstances. At least more, there's a wider application scenario than a lock connector. So based on these reasons, I think um, even if you are paying more for this kind of connector, it worth it. But if you really don't care about the safety and some other aspect like the battery lifespan, I think the lock connector may be better. But this is definitely a um, like an upgrade version than the lock connector.